Welcome to BrainCore. In this video, I will show you how to download the software needed to efficiently train using BrainCore Neurofeedback at home. First, we'll start with what comes in the kit that you will receive or have already received from your provider. In this bag, you will receive this little box. It is called an amplifier. It's where the sensors are plugged into. It comes with a USB cord directly into your computer or laptop. It comes with a set of sensors that will be used for the brain cord neurofeedback training. It has ear clips as well as the sensors that go on the scalp and I'll show you how to be using those. It comes with a little bottle of new prep. This is for cleaning off the scalp and on the ears. It comes with a small bottle of 1020 paste that's used to put the sensors onto the scalp. And it comes with a USB that you'll plug into your laptop. I've already plugged mine in, and that will have the software needed to download to your laptop or computer. A couple other things you might wanna have nearby are baby wipes, paper towels, uh, possibly a bottle of rubbing alcohol and some cotton swabs. Uh, always have that nearby. You're gonna clean your scalp off and your and your ears off so you want to have those close by in hands reach and the baby wipes or paper towel are going to be to clean off your hands for uh, from the 1020 paste that you're working with all right now that we know exactly what we have in our kit i'm going to easily show you by sharing my screen how to download the software now you put in the usb and you open it up let me share my screen um, you see when you open up the USB device, you're going to have these two links. The first link is for you to find the approved streaming, um, Zoom, um, excuse me, Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus. Click on that and that's going to take you straight to where you need to be streaming the videos from. You're going to log into your own account unless the provider gave you an account to log in for the streaming. The Synapse at Home setup is exactly what you need to download to your laptop. I've already downloaded it to my laptop, so I'm not gonna download it again. I've actually done it twice already. Um, but what you're gonna do is just double click it, and it will open up uh, where it asks you if you wanna make, if you allow this app to make changes to your device, just say yes. And then it's gonna bring you to a welcome to the Synapse at Home setup wizard. Follow those instructions, just press next, follow along and then it'll finish and it'll download to your laptop with no issues. All right, so let's say we've already downloaded it like I have. I'm going to share that screen, what it looks like when it is downloaded and you're gonna open it up on your desktop. All right, let me get there. I'm gonna open it up first on my desktop and then I'll share it with all of you. It's called Synapse at Home. You might want to uh, click on it and drag it to your desktop so it's a saved icon on your, on your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. Okay, let's see that it's now. Let me make sure it's sharing that. All right. Sometimes when you log out of the Synapse, let's say you did some training and a couple days later you log back in, it might come up with this notification, updates available, would you like to download and install them now? Always say yes, yes, if it asks you to do this. Um, we constantly do updates on our software to improve it. And so you do need to run the updates. My recording stops sharing my screen as it's doing the update, but it's very important to do those updates so the software works properly on your system. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention because I've already opened up my software. When you first have the software downloaded on your system, on your computer or laptop, it will ask you for a registration key. Your provider will 
give that to you if they have not already. Make sure to put that registration key in and then it gets you into the software and you'll see the screen that it takes you to right now. If it does ask you for an update uh, for the software, you will have to follow the wizard again what it does is uninstall and reinstalls the updated software. So it takes a couple minutes, um, so just make sure that you are patient and make sure that that update is done correctly. So I've done my update. I'm gonna now share my screen, and this is the screen you will come to once you put your registration key in and done all the updates that are needed. So your provider is also gonna give you your username and password. You should have it already. Um, if not, definitely contact your provider. So I'm going to put mine in. This is a, my old one. All right, so put in your uh, username and password, and it says obviously start training. Before we move on to training, I'm going to show you exactly how you want to set up with the sensors on the scalp for the best training for you. Okay, now we're ready to get set up to start the training. You want to definitely download all the software first. Once it's all downloaded, you could just go straight to this step of setting up and beginning your neurofeedback training. So as I mentioned, the kit does come with sensors. There are set, uh, kind of two sets. So this one has one sensor and one ear clip. This I like to use on the left side. It doesn't matter which side you use it on, but just to keep it simple, you could use it on the left side. Um, so the one sensor is gray and it's gonna plug into your amplifier box, which is already plugged into your computer using the USB cord provided. You're gonna plug in to channel one, that's the sensor. Plug that in to the front, and then you're gonna take channel left ear, which is the clip, right next to channel one, and plug that in. So it has your sensor and your ear clip. Now, what you're gonna do is take your alcohol swab and a little bit of new prep onto the alcohol swab or your cotton ball with rubbing alcohol. So I use a little pea size of the new prep onto the swab. And what you're gonna do is go to the location that you're training. Now you should, um, know which location based off the protocol when we start the training. I'll show you on the software where that is. My location is called C3C4. It's located right at the top sensory motor strip. Pretty much you can find any location easily by going up midline from your nose, going to the top, very top of your head, which is the middle sensory motor, CZ. And then you could easily go one one thumb length or so to the right and one to the left, that's C3, C4. On your software, it'll show you exactly where to set up. You do have about a quarter size of error, technically not error, you're not gonna have an error, but um, that you could be in. So don't worry about it getting precisely where it says as long as it's right around there. So I'm actually gonna start with my left. You're gonna rub that alcohol swab onto the scalp and clean it off, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the right. All right, and then you're gonna take your 1020 paste, put about a pea size on your fingertip. I like to just put it on my fingertip and then go to the area that I'm gonna put the sensor and place a little bit of paste there. Okay, it's a little hard to do in the, in the camera, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, it'd be best if you have someone to help you. Obviously, if you're helping your child, this is how you're going to do it. You're gonna take that sensor that you plugged into channel one and paste it to the left side. So I know in the camera, it looks like the opposite, but this is my left side. All right, the cup is gonna go down, okay? So cup, let me show you on this other sensor. It's a little cup, you're gonna put a little bit of paste into the cup, and then you're gonna put it down. So it's gonna, the dome is gonna be not touching your scalp, okay? It's gonna be up like a little cap, tiny little cap. 
All right, so that's the left side. You're gonna put a little bit of paste onto the ear clips as well, on the inside of the ear clips, just a little film of paste and put that directly onto the ear low, just like that. All right, you're gonna do the same thing for the right side. I already cleaned it off, I'm just gonna clean it off again. It's okay if you clean it off more than once. And you're gonna put on the right side, okay? Make sure to move the hair out of the way so you get the paste onto your scalp. If the paste is just in the hair, it's gonna have an issue because it will not get a good connection and pick up those brain waves that we're trying to help retrain. So you definitely wanna make sure that it's on the scalp and not just in your hair. And if you need to add a little bit more paste onto the sensor, go ahead and do that. Don't use too much about pea size should be enough to get the sensor pasted to the scalp correctly, but you could add a little more if you need to, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing. The right sensors I use with two, the one with two ear clips. So it is important to use all the ear clips. There's three total. I put two on the right and one on the left. It doesn't matter if you wanna do it the other way. This is just for the ease of getting into the groove of how you wanna do it. This is just how I like to do it. I do, the, do it this way in my office as well. So you're gonna go ahead and put the ear clips on the right lobe. Make sure that the ear clips that have, whichever lobe has the two clips, that the clips are not touching on your ear lobe. Make sure all your hair is out of the way and that the ear clips are not touching, okay? So it could go up the ear a little bit. This is the time you wanna have uh, your baby wipes or a paper towel, so you could just clean your hands off, make sure everything's clean before you touch your computer. All right, so you are set up, ready to go. You know, if it looks like the sensors are in the hair too much and not enough on the scalp, we're gonna find out when we test the connection, okay? So just try to make sure that it's directly on the scalp as much as possible. All right, so next I'm gonna share my screen again and we're gonna go back to the software that we've already opened up. And we're gonna click on start training. This is where we're gonna test connection before we actually start training, connect, train, and feel great. Here we go, begin. All right, so here is showing you where my sensors are from my protocol. Your provider will set you up with your exact protocol and it's gonna show you exactly where on the scalp to hook up. Okay, done, already hooked up. And what I'm gonna do is check amplifier connection first. So click here for a check amplifier connection. And down here it should say amplifier connected, H2, HT2X connected. If it says in simulation mode, you need to try a different USB port, unplug the amplifier box and plug it into a different USB or possibly close down the software and reopen it because maybe you missed an update that it needed. Okay, just a little tip, I had to do that earlier. So we are connected. Next, I'm gonna start connection test. This is where we're gonna make sure we have a good connection. This is not a good connection. I think I have a little bit too much, oh, Possibly you wanna make sure that the wires are plugged in to the box. <laughs> so make sure all your wires are plugged in and that your ear clips are plugged in to the amplifier box or else you're gonna get crazy looking lines like that which are not brain waves. All right, everything's now plugged in and now you can see we have brain wave activity. You also will know that you have a good connection when all the circles on this brain picture are green. If you talk during this, if you move around a lot, if you clench your jaw, if you're tense, you are gonna have what's called an artifact detected. You don't want artifacts the whole time, but you will have them here and there um, during the training, that's okay. Um, but as long as you don't start the training before, at least you see this green for a little while. So all my uh, positions are green and I'm ready to start training. Okay, so when it's start, it's time to start training. I didn't press start training yet. I'm gonna first show you exactly where you need to have your video from. Um, let me pull that up. It is from the USB drive, which is directly connected to your Google Chrome. 
um, browser. So what you do is just double click on this. It's going to take you to a website. And let me make sure that that is sharing correctly because Zoom sometimes doesn't. So I double clicked on it and it brought me to resources.braincoresystems.com. This is where you can safely stream from, but you are going to log into your own account um, using any of these YouTube, Netflix, Hulu. I'm going to just choose YouTube for right now. I don't always remember my password, so I'm going to go ahead and click YouTube and I'm going to bring up a video that I would like to watch during training. So you pretty much just double click there and it'll bring you to your YouTube through your website. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose, you know, positive, positive uh, affirmations. All right, you could choose whatever you'd like. Obviously, the more positive, the better. Try not to watch things that are too crazy violent or um, negative that will bring you down. Some people think that it can affect the neurofeedback. It's uh, up for debate, but I always feel like it's best to be as positive as possible. So let's just say we're gonna choose this. Let me make sure that you can see the screen. Okay, now I am gonna pause it for a quick second. You probably will wanna have this up before you even hook yourself up. So I did a little bit backwards, but it's fine. As long as you just bring up that uh, site first and it's ready to go. So when you're all set up with your sensors on and you could just go ahead and open that up and get started with the training. All right, let me share one more time your my screen back to the Synapse. All right. So we're gonna start training. We tested connection, connection looks great, and we're gonna start training here. All right. So as you can see, um, it, it kind of flashed in and out. We haven't actually started quite yet. I'm gonna bring my audio settings up to, let's say around 70 or so, and press done. And then, okay, you should see this. This is what's gonna come up. I like to put my audio up to about 20 to 30, somewhere between there, and my max maybe 75 to 80, wherever you'd like. Everything else should be set. You don't need to touch anything else, and you're gonna press start. Okay, so as you could see, possibly, my screen is starting to fade. I'm not sure if you see that or not. Let me make sure I'm sharing to the right screen again. It's a little weird on the zoom. I'm going to go to my actual show that I'm watching on YouTube or Netflix, whatever it is. Okay, and the training has started. Let me go to full screen. It's just taking a second to go to full screen here. There we go. So it should be showing you full screen. What's gonna happen is while you're training, I paused my video so you're not gonna see it start to play. Um, while you're training, the screen's going to go bright and dark if you've never done any neurofeedback. This is absolutely what we wanna see, the screen going bright and dark, as well as the volume going up and down. Your brain waves are in control of that feedback, and so it's giving the brain and the information it needs to change the way it's working. That's what neurofeedback does. This is the training. This is as easy as it is. It will time out at 30 minutes and at the end of it, it will save for your provider to be able to follow along with all of your sessions and check in with you um, how you're doing and change anything that you may need to change. If you have any questions, please uh, contact your provider first. And if it is an IT question, your provider will get a hold of Brain Core Neurofeedback Systems and they could help um, in any way they can, as long as it's something that the provider was not able to help you with. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. At the end, just make sure if it does ask you to save, make sure that you do save it. I'm going to go ahead and stop. If you do want to stop early, just click on the brain um, that's up in the top corner of your screen and press stop and close. Try to do at least 15 to 20 minutes of neurofeedback when you have it in your home up to 30 minutes at, that it times out. Talk to your provider if your training is longer than that or needs to be longer than that and they could change the settings for you.
Thanks so much and enjoy your neurofeedback training with BrainCore Home Systems.